guys happy saturday welcome back it's connor here hope you guys are all having a great start to your weekend so far it is time for another edition of the weekly wax chat which is the video that i like to do every weekend where i go through everything in terms of home fragrance for this past week so we are going to be discussing the candles that i've been burning we will talk about the wax melts that i've been warming we will do a little tour of what i am currently burning i don't have anything crocking or melting um if you guys have not already watched last week's weekly wax chat do go back and watch that if you're interested because i kind of explain why i am not currently crocking or lamping um and yeah we basically just discuss everything home fragrance from the past uh week so let me know down below in the comments while you're watching what have you guys been enjoying what candles have you been burning what wax melts have you been warming or however you like to enjoy your home fragrance just let me know down below in the comments what you've been using up but um yeah that is it for our little intro here we're gonna go ahead and get up and do a tour of what i am currently burning i do have three things currently going i do not normally burn three candles at one time normally two is the max for me but you will see why because this is a trio that i always like to burn together so i had to light up all three at the same time so let's go ahead and get up and see what i'm currently burning all right so the trio that i am burning is the homeworks farm stand fruit trio so the first one that i have burning right here in the kitchen is farm stand strawberry this one um, is a trio that I got on QVC, and it was actually, fun fact, my first ever Homeworks Candles, um, and I just fell in love with this trio. It just has this summery, fruity, delicious trio goodness to it. I love this one. Um, the strawberry um, is just like a very sweet strawberry. It does have a little bit of rhubarb to it, so it kind of has like an interesting twist to it, but... It's just a great summertime strawberry type scent, and I love how it blends with the other three. Like I said, I always have to burn these three scents at the same time so that they just mix together and create this heavenly trio. All right, so this is the first one. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and pick it up and we're just gonna walk today. I normally do the editing, but not feeling like doing that today. So we're just gonna pick up and go. Uh, the second one right here in the entryway, this is the Farm Stand Peach, this one. Um, just mixes so well with that strawberry. It's a very sweet peach. It does also have some vanilla in here as well that kind of gives it some sweetness. Also, I love the lids on these. These are the older ones that have now been discontinued. I believe that they now have the scalloped lids, which are also cute, but I like these ones with the actual fruit on them. But um, this is the peach one in the entryway. And then we're just gonna pick up and go in here, and this is the farm stand blueberry. Let me bring you guys down a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> a minute. There we are. All right, so we're burning the blueberry one right in here. This one probably is, well, I don't know. I would say this or the peach is my favorite in this collection. Um, but this one is just so good. It is this really sweet blueberry type scent, um, and it's just delicious. I love how it blends with the strawberry and the peach, and it just has a very summery smell to it. Um, and I'm actually burning, I've been burning another candle that kind of smells a little bit similar to this one, and you'll see that one when I talk about what else I've been burning this week. But um, that is what I'm currently burning. I love to pull this trio out every summer. It just really to me screams summertime and i feel like it cannot be a summer in my house without burning this trio so over the next week two weeks we'll be enjoying these three candles lit up together so that is what i'm currently burning let's go ahead and sit back down and see what else i've been enjoying this week all right so that was our tour hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i'm currently burning and now let's get into all of the other stuff that i've been enjoying this week also a disclaimer, I've not had coffee today, so if I seem a little bit tired, that's why I did just make some though, so should be good to go. All right, let's start with my empties. I actually have a ton of stuff to talk about this week. We have a good amount of empties and also a lot of stuff that I kind of started burning. Um, in terms of what the kind of theme was this week was mostly finishing stuff up and honestly it's going to be finishing up the rest of my summer candles. I do plan on finishing up summer stuff completely by the end of next week so 
Next week's weekly wax shot, you should see me starting to pull out some more transitional type candles. I'm not going to go full fledged into fall. I'm definitely going to be doing more of a transition. So I'll pull out some more like fall fruity scents um, and just scents that are going to kind of ease me into fall. Nothing like pumpkin spice or anything like that. It's going to be much more um, just kind of like easing into it. But that will be starting pretty soon here. So I'm just trying to finish up everything that I have for summer. And then we're, we're going to fall you guys i am really excited i cannot wait but um we do still have a good amount of summer stuff to finish up so let's look at all of that stuff from this week um i do have five empties from this week and i feel like i've already talked these to death over the last couple of weeks so i'm just gonna really quickly go through these and just give you guys any final thoughts uh first off bath and body works waikiki beach coconut completely finished down to the bottom um you guys know i love this scent it just is a basic white coconut type scent great for every summer this was actually the second one that i finished this summer and i always love it the burn was great no issues at all perfect burn good strength and throw about a medium so of course i will definitely repurchase that for summers to come um coconut pina colada i love this summer this was definitely like my top summer favorite from bath and body works i would say um i don't normally like pineapple so it's kind of surprised that i liked this one but it just has this delicious coconut pineapple mixture to it. I think because the coconut is kind of heavy in here, you don't really get a ton of pineapple, but it's definitely detectable. I just think the coconut makes it a little bit more enjoyable for me. But I love this one. Um, not only did I love the scent, the burn was amazing. As you can see, great burn, no issues at all. And um, the strength and throw is great on this one. This one is actually stronger than the Waikiki Beach Coconut. This one um, is a solid like eight and a half. It does really good and basically fills up the entire downstairs. Um, our house is very open concept. So the living, dining, and kitchen are all like basically connected. So it fills up the entire space. So it's definitely like a good eight and a half. Um, I feel like overall, I've been really happy with Bath & Body Works this year, I would say. I feel like they've had a good year, especially the spring and summer, and I'm really hoping that they bring that into this fall. Um, if you guys missed it, I actually did a Bath & Body Works haul yesterday. I did partake in their $12.95 sale because I did have a 20% off coupon. I also got a couple of other things because I had a couple other coupons. Um, so check out that haul if you've not already, but I'm definitely excited to see um, kind of what their fall burns are going to be like, and I'm really hoping that they continue you with the good performance okay we've got a couple of yankee uh empties the first one being my yankee candle three wick and pink sands completely finished to the bottom i love pink sands as you guys know this is one of my favorite uh family's favorite scents it's just a very tropical like perfumey type scent um i just love this one it smells beachy a little bit floral but it's just a great summertime burn uh, no issues at all with the three wicks. This is actually the discontinued size of three wick. Yankee now only does the more um, like 14 and a half ounce like this. So they no longer make these, but if you have an outlet near you, they likely will have a ton of these, at least mine does. And then they also um, are on great deal. These are only $10, you guys. This is a good deal. So um, I get a good burn out of these. They burn really cleanly. As you can see, no issues, no sitting or anything. And then these are also a beast for strength and throw. These three wicks are super strong on me and I have started up a few more. I just kind of went crazy with them because when I saw that they were $10, I was like, I know that these are to throw well because they're three wicks um so yeah i'm just like really happy that i found these and they were such a good deal at my outlet the other one that i finished was cliffside sunrise i loved this scent this was a great kind of like strawberry watermelon type scent it kind of reminded me of pink sands but it was maybe a little bit more emphasis on like the fruitiness where pink sands is a little bit more heavy on like the perfume smell but they're just both kind of like tropical floral smells. And I love this Cliffside Sunrise. This was amazing. No issues at all. Good strength and throw. I was really impressed with both of these candles. Um, the last candle that I emptied, I did finally finish my Bahama Breeze from Yankee. Now, I love the scent on this one. It's a great kind of more tropical citrus uh, fruity type scent. It does have pineapple and grapefruit. Seems like I'm loving the pineapple candles, which is so funny because I don't like pineapple normally, but I feel like I'm kind of coming around to it in some types of scents. 
But um, my major issue with this one was the strength and throw. The burn was good. The scent was great. There's no issue with like sootiness or anything like that. But this was just really, really light for me. Um, and I've kind of found that with these like two wick jars from Yankee. If I have the option, I always get the three wick just because I know that I'm going to get more strength and throw out of it because it's more wicks. You're getting more strength and throw surface area. So it makes sense. Um, so I really feel like some of these jars can throw well. Like I've had some that do well in terms of strength and throw, but I just feel like they're more hit and miss. So while I do like the scent, I would not buy it again in this format, but if they had it in a three wick, I would get this in the three wick because I really like the scent. This is a great summertime one, just way too light for me in this jar. So a little bit disappointed with that, but I did finish it up. And those were all of my empties for this week. And now let's get into um, all of the other stuff that I was burning. We have quite a lot left to go. So let's get into it. I'm actually going to get some coffee. I hope it's not too hot. Okay. Let's get into what else I was burning. Let's just continue with these Yankee Three Wicks because I have a couple more for you guys. I pulled out a tangerine and vanilla. Now, I've never actually tried tangerine and vanilla from Yankee before, but it's a scent that I've always loved when I smelled in stores. So I decided to finally pick it up when I found it at the outlet in the Three Wick. And this scent is amazing. This is a very citrusy, tart, orange tangerine smell with a creamy vanilla running throughout it. It kind of smells like an orange creamsicle, but I feel like a lot of orange creamsicle scents to me just smell super sweet and just like like candy-ish almost, like sickeningly sweet, like a, I guess like a creamsicle. And I just feel like I normally prefer like a more like actual real orange. And I feel like that's what you get in here. The tangerine is very authentic, but there is that like creamy vanilla, but it's not like gross smelling in my opinion. Um, like the Yankee Candle orange creamsicle. This to me, I like better because it smells more authentic to a tangerine. So this is a great summertime scent. Um, I've only burned it a couple times, so I can't really tell you much about the strength and throw. I think I've only gotten two burns out of this one, but um, so far it's been pretty strong. The burn has been doing really good, and so I will definitely continue to burn this one and update you guys in next week's weekly wax chat. The other one that I've been burning is another one. Well, no, I've had this candle before. I take that back. I was going to say I've never tried this. I did try this last year. This is White Strawberry Bellini. Um, it does say congrats on it. So these are great labels for like a gift. You can just get these and give them as a gift. Uh, and they have like a whole collection. One says happy birthday. One says thank you. One says I love you. So definitely check these out if you need a good gift candle. But um, white strawberry Bellini just smells basically like a sweet, sweet strawberry with a little bit of like a bubbly effervescent smell to it. It does have that slight Bellini smell to it. But just very fruity and um you know smells like a drink that you would drink during the summer it's delicious if you like strawberry i will say i'm a little concerned with this one because i burned it twice now and i feel like the wicks on this one are kind of small i feel like this one is kind of starting to get the puny wick syndrome so crossing my fingers that this one continues to do better but so far i'm getting a little bit nervous so we'll have to see how it does I don't, think, I don't think I'm going to trim the wicks because um, I think if I trim them, they're just going to kind of get more small and I want them to stay more alive. So those were the Yankee three wicks that I was burning. I've also continued to burn some of these Kringle jars that I've been enjoying, Sicilian orange being one of them. Um, Sicilian orange is a great kind of summertime citrus scent. It does have a slight herbalness to it. So if you like that kind of like orange tea smell, I think you'll really like this one, but this is a great summertime one. So far, the burn has been great. Obviously, with this 100% soy formula from Kringle, it burns flawlessly, no issues at all. Um, and then the strength and throw for this one is a good medium. It's not anything crazy, but I would put it at about like a six and a half, seven. So been really happy with this one. Also, if you guys do not already, I always burn my Kringles and Hurricanes. I think that like some companies don't need it, 
for example, I don't feel like Bath and Body Works needs to be burned in a hurricane necessarily. You can, and I do think that that helps it, but I don't feel like you have to or need to necessarily. But I feel like with Kringle, I really recommend it because it really does help to kind of bring out the strength and throw in them. They are only two wicks. The surface is not huge. The surface area, I guess, um, is not huge. So I would definitely recommend burning them in a hurricane if you have one. Also, burn your Yankee two wicks in one as well. I think that that will also help them. Any two wick candle, I would recommend burning in hurricane. Three wicks, I don't think this is necessary. Four wicks, not really, unless some homeworks candles are super light, so you may have to, but I would definitely recommend two, week, uh, two wicks, put them in a hurricane. Um, the other candle from Kringle that I've been burning is Essentials. Um, this one is a delicious kind of summertime citrus scent. It actually smells just like uh, Capri Blue Volcano, which you guys hear me name drop that candle all the time. It's because I have a ton of dupes of that one and it's just one of my my favorite summertime scents, but also my family loves it. It's a very citrusy scent. It's got grapefruit and lemon and orange and it just smells like a citrus explosion basically. It's great for the summertime. I've really enjoyed this one. Um, again, great burn from this, the 100% soy, and then the strength and throw has also been about a medium for this one. I would say it's a little bit stronger than the Sicilian orange. I put this one at like a seven, and then I put the Sicilian orange at about a six. So I've been pretty impressed with these, but again, put them in a hurricane to get more strength and throw. Okay, I have one lonely little Bath and Body Works candle, except for the empties, obviously, from this week. But I did start up a Marshmallow Fireside and Black Cherry Merlot. I've been burning this one in my bedroom during the nighttime. Um, and I love this one. This was a semi-annual cell candle that released last summer. And I fell in love, which is funny, because I don't like Black Cherry Merlot, actually. That's not a scent that I like. I do love Marshmallow Fireside. That is one of my favorite fall time ones, but I don't like Black Cherry Merlot. But the way that these two smell when you put them together is so good. It just kind of has this like smoky cherry smell to it with a little bit of marshmallow. It just smells so good. I really like the way that this one smells. So I would love to see Bath and Body Works bring this one back. Of course, you could probably just burn a marshmallow fireside and a black cherry merlot candle together, but I love the way that they did it in here. I do have one more of these, so I'll probably burn this one this summer and then maybe the other one later this year. But um, I love this scent and the burn has been pretty good. I've only burned it a few times, so I don't really have a ton of things to say about the burn. If you're interested, I do already have a review of this one from last year, obviously. But um, so far it's done pretty good. So yeah, fingers crossed it continues to do well, but I've really been enjoying this one. This was definitely one of my favorites that Bath & Body Works has done in the last couple of years. So I hope that they bring this back or I may just have to get some black cherry Merlot candles, not to burn by themselves, because I really do not like that scent. But when they put it with the marshmallow fireside, it's amazing. Okay, and to wrap it up with the candles, we have two homework scents. The first one I was burning was Limoncello Cupcake. Um, this one is always a favorite of mine. It just smells like limoncello icing, basically, like a creamy vanilla icing smell. The notes are limoncello, Sicilian lemons, candy lemons, lots of lemon, um, sparkling sugar, creamy vanilla, and French butter. This one's so good. I always love this. It just smells like a rich lemon frosting. Um, Harry does so good at gourmands and this one is amazing. I love this. If you like the Bath and Body Works Ice Lemon Pound Cake, I think you'll really like this one. I feel like this is pretty similar to that. Maybe this one is a little bit more focused on like the icing, I would say, where the lemon pound cake is more on like the cakiness, but so, so good if you like lemon gourmand scents. Uh, the wicks are huge on this one, so be careful. I need to trim these definitely before I light it up again, but so far this one is a pretty good performer and does good in strength and throw. And then another one that I was enjoying this week was a blueberry violet tart. This one released earlier this year from Homeworks, and I just really like the scent. It reminds me a lot of the Farm Stand Blueberry. Um, like I told you guys earlier, this one to me definitely smells pretty similar, um, but I think it does have a slight floralness from that violet. The notes are fresh blueberries, violet petals, baked pastry, and vanilla green bean. It does have like that fruity blueberry. I think it's the same blueberry that he uses in the Farm Stand Blueberry. It does have a gourmandness, 
but then the floral just kind of adds this unique touch to it. I really like this one. I do have one backup as well because I got another one. Um, I just love this scent. This is a great one. The wicks are definitely skinnier on this one, but it does have some of those carbon mushrooms. So I'll also have to trim this one for the next burn. But um, yeah, that was it for this week in terms of candles. I feel like we're a little bit all over the place in terms of what I've been burning. Um, like I said, I kind of just went through my collection and I just pulled out what was left of my summer collection and just said, you know what, we're gonna burn these in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to finish everything up and uh, we are going to start to transition into fall. So I'm so excited for that. Um, so yeah, that was it for the candles. And we are obviously going to finish off with the wax melts for this week. I'm starting off, we have Scentsy's Strawberry Lemon Cake, which is so yummy. I remember this one released last spring, I think around Easter time, and I just loved it. It smells like a delicious strawberry pound cake with like a lemon frosting. It's so good. I love this one. It's currently what's going right now. Um, I am on my third day, but so today will be the last day. It's definitely a lot lighter now, but I've really enjoyed this one. So this is the strawberry lemon cake from Scentsy. I did some Kringle Mon Amour. This one to me is a dupe for, uh, I almost said Bath and Body Works, Baccarat Rouge 540 from Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. This one smells just like that perfume, so if you want a home fragrance dupe for it. Sorry about that, the UPS truck was coming down the street. As I was saying, I was enjoying Kringle Candle Mon Amour, which just smells like that perfume. It's so good. It's kind of like this lighter, floral, fresh type scent. I really like this one in the spring, but it made a good summertime one, and I'm trying to make a dent in my summer wax melt collection, so I pulled that one out. And then lastly, I also enjoyed Country Candles Sweet Stuff, which smells just like um, Sol de Janeiro Churisa 62. So if you love that one, it's the Pistachio Camara Caramel one. If you like that one, definitely check this out. This is so good. I love this one. Um, and just, again, trying to make some dents in my summer collection for my wax melts. I'm just trying to basically finish up everything summer. I do love the summertime scents, but I'm kind of eager to get into my fall transition time. So trying to finish up everything before I do that. But um, yeah, guys, that is it for this week's weekly wax chat. Uh, let me know in the comments, what have you guys been burning and enjoying? Are you guys still burning summer scents? Are you moving on to fall? I would kind of love to hear what everybody does. I know some people wait for September. Some people have already started probably. Let me know uh, kind of how you do it down below in the comments. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this week. Check out the description box. I will leave a link for every product. So if you're interested in where these are from, check that out. I'll also leave any discount codes that I have. So look down there. But um, yeah, guys, that is it for this week. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good weekend. Bye.